What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you have a MacBook Air and you want to protect it with real leather, you might want to check out this. I have a, the new MacBook Air right here and the bottom is not protected by anything. Actually on the top what I have is a cork cover, but the bottom is not. And this is what gets dropped down on a lot of stuff and so you see a lot with scratches and dents. So I wanted to protect this, but I wanted to have something that matched the luxurious look of my cork top. I did a separate review on that. And so I picked this up and it's by Toast at Toast Made. Now I have tried Toast stuff before and I've really liked it. It's funny because I think they call it Toast because they toast their wood, kind of torch it, and so they make a lot of wood covers for things and this is a little bit outside of their normal product i think because this is a full leather cover for the laptop it comes in really nice packaging you open it up like this i think everything is made to order so if you order something it might be a little while before you get it and uh looks like here we go comes in this a package within a package and we have the cover here oh it looks like it's stapled down so i'm just gonna kind of be careful about pulling this out we do have an alcohol prep pad in there as well so they send it with everything that you need to get this thing installed and the cool thing about this is that it's not just decorative uh, it's a real true genuine leather decal you can see the 3m adhesive on the back here but that is real leather and it does come in a variety of colors but what i love about this is that it looks kind of like uh, tobacco leaf to me. It's kind of got that distressed leather, that vintage leather, um, saddle leather. I really love that look. It's just got kind of a smoking jacket, uh, cigar feel to me. And so I like that old fashioned uh, leather. Now we do also have some holes here, punched out, laser cut out for all the screws. So you should have access to taking out the bottom panel if you want, which I'm not gonna need. We do have a cutout out here, which is gonna be where the hinge goes. And then what I've also noticed here is that we have kind of like kiss cuts where the little rubber feet are. I'm not sure why that is. My assumption is maybe you're gonna leave those in and you're gonna pull away everything else and that way it doesn't kind of melt and attach to the rubber. So that's kind of my assumption there. That's why I think they do it. What I've noticed is that they don't actually cut out those holes because this is decently thick. I'd call it two millimeters thick. And what I think is gonna happen is if they did, these little feet would not protrude from the cover and so they wouldn't even actually touch anything so by leaving them uh, underneath here then you'll get kind of a little protrusion pushing through the leather and that's what i'm hoping so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to dry fit it here a little bit and then uh, line it up and then i usually will start on one end or one side and kind of work that down use it as an anchor and then pull away the backing so i'm going to install it now and then we will check it out all right, I put it on and as you can see here, I kind of pulled the backing away from one edge, lined everything up and uh, used that as an anchor and then rolled it out starting in the middle and pushing out to the edges. One of the things that I did here is this is the front, this is the edge I'll be seeing and having my hands near and stuff like that. So I really used that to line it up because I didn't really care so much if there was a little bit of a gap here on the back. But I will tell you, even though I pushed it all the way to the edge, you can see how flush that is. Look at the back here. It goes right to the edge and in fact it might be angles just a little bit over so there is more leather here than laptop surface i mean it's a very good cut and a very good finish um, but if you want to line it up here so where you know where you're going to see it and maybe use it the most uh, you might have just a little bit of hangover here but that's great it gives it a little bit of a bumper it gives it a little bit of extra protection now kind of like i was thinking uh, you get little blisters here where the feet are underneath the leather and so that's actually nice because even though you've added a couple millimeters of thickness to your chassis you actually still have these feet to take the load off now i will also say here that i kind of noticed that on the edge here they have burnished or painted that edge there so it's got a really nice finish like a nice uh, watch band or something like that so it looks great and that looks rich rich and luxurious and combined with my cork top here <laughs> look at that i've got a nicely Oh, protected MacBook Air with a lot of rich old world style to it. So the nice thing is I, I know I can be a little bit more mm, cavalier with this, maybe not quite as ginger with it, and I don't have to worry about beating up the metal. So, hey, if you want to pick up uh, this leather or even this cork one from Slick Wraps, uh, I will put links to them in the description below so you can dress up and protect your MacBook Air. Peter Von Panda, out.